Have you ever experienced that your throat feels like it's scratchy and tingly? Like it's been rubbed with sandpaper and it just hurts when you talk or swallow. If you've ever experienced it or are experiencing it now, then you might be having a sore throat. Hi, I'm Hafiz and I'm a fourth year pharmacy student studying in University Brunei Darussalam. And today, I'm going to talk about sore throat as well as its management. So first of all, what is a sore throat? A sore throat is a painful, dry, and scratchy feeling in the pharynx, which is just a fancy name for your throat. Your pharynx is a tube in the back of your mouth which sits between your tonsils and your voice box. Next is what causes a sore throat. A sore throat is usually caused by bacteria or viruses that gets into your throat causing an infection making your throat looks red, swollen, and tender. Although, irritants, air pollution, Excessive yelling as well as allergies may also be factors causing a sore throat. Next is, what are the organisms that can cause a sore throat? Viral infections are usually caused by adenovirus, rhinovirus, and coronavirus, while bacterial infections are usually caused by streptococcus pyogenes, which is why bacterial sore throat are usually called strep throat. What are the chances that people get strep throat in a sore throat? A strep throat is more common in children than adults. Only 3 in 10 children with a sore throat have a strep throat, while only 1 in 10 adults who has a sore throat have a strep throat. Next is, who are at risk of getting a sore throat? Although sore throat affects people of all ages, children aged 5 to 15 years old, smokers, People with allergies and people with weakened immune system are at high risk of developing a sore throat. Will I need antibiotics to treat a sore throat? Usually, 90% of sore throat are caused by viral infections, while 10% are caused by bacteria and other factors. Therefore, the use of antibiotics are not typically necessary in the treatment of sore throat as antibiotic has no effect on viruses. Sore throat caused by a virus can be easily managed at home by using over-the-counter medications or even home remedies as it typically goes away on its own. However, bacterial sore throat needs medical attention from your healthcare professional as it requires antibiotic for its treatment. What's the difference between viral and bacterial sore throat? Although it is difficult to tell between a bacterial sore throat or a viral sore throat, there are signs and symptoms that could help distinguish these two. For viral sore throat, coughing, runny, stuffy nose, and redness of the eyes are often seen. On the other hand, bacterial sore throat are usually associated with a fever over 38 degrees Celsius, nausea and vomiting, no coughing or no redness of the eyes, and white spots on tonsils. How do I treat a sore throat? Treating a viral sore throat is mainly about self-care, which you can do by using over-the-counter medication for symptomatic relief. One way of treating your sore throat is by sucking lozenges. Here in Brunei, strip sales are readily accessible at any retail pharmacy or any retail store. Strip sales contains two active ingredients, which are the 2,4-dichlorobenzyl alcohol 1.2mg and amyl metacrosol 0.6mg. These two ingredients are antiseptics that helps to kill the bacteria or viruses that is causing your sore throat. One lozenge should be dissolved in your mouth slowly every 2-3 to three hours up to 12 lozenges in 24 hours. You should be able to feel the soothing effect of the lozenges within 5 minutes after sucking it and this will last for about 2 hours. There are many varieties of strepsil flavors available such as original, orange, honey lemon, and others. You can buy any strepsils flavor for your sore throat according to your own preference. Who are the people that shouldn't take strepsil lozenges? Strepsils is not suitable for children under 6 years old as young children can choke on lozenges. If you are pregnant, you should seek medical advice first from your healthcare professional before taking this product. And if you are fructose intolerant, then you should not be taking this product as it contains sucrose. 
It is best that you store strip cells in a room temperature below 25 degrees Celsius. What are the home remedies for sore throat? There are also home remedies that you can try to relieve the pain caused by your sore throat. The first is by gargling salt water. Add half a teaspoon of salt into a cup of warm water and gargle the mixture two times a day. This can help soothe and relieve the discomfort in your throat. Drinking warm liquids such as honey lemon tea or herbal tea is also a great way to soothe your throat. In addition, eating cool foods such as ice cream or yogurt can help relieve your sore throat as well. If you are having a sore throat, it's best that you try to stay hydrated as possible by drinking lots of fluids to moisten your throat. Using a humidifier to moisten your surrounding air could also be a good idea as dry air could make your throat feel scratchier and rougher. It's also crucial that you get enough rest as the more you rest, the faster your immune system will work to fight whatever that is causing your sore throat. Next is how to prevent a sore throat. There are also ways to prevent the risk of developing a sore throat, which includes avoiding sharing food, drinks, and eating utensils, avoiding contact with individuals who are sick, washing your hands often, especially before eating and after coughing or sneezing, using alcohol-based hand sanitizers when soap and water aren't available, and avoid smoking or inhaling secondhand smoke as this can exacerbate a sore throat. When should I see a doctor? If you suspect that your sore throat is caused by bacterial infection, then heading to your healthcare professional would be the best choice of treatment. Other than that, if you have a sore throat that does not improve within one week, having recurrent bouts of infections, have difficulties in breathing or swallowing, or have developed a rash, then an appointment should be done with your doctor as these symptoms are the red flag symptoms that needs to be checked by your doctor. Now that we have almost reached the end of this video, let's have a simple true or false quiz to recap back the things that we have discussed. Question 1. Strep throat is caused by viral infections. False. Strep throat is caused by bacteria, which is known as Streptococcus pyogenes. 2. Viral sore throats should be treated with antibiotics. False. Only bacterial sore throat should be treated with antibiotics as antibiotic has no effect on viruses. 3. 2,4-dichlorobenzyl alcohol and amyl metacrosol are the two active ingredients present in strep cells. True. These are the two antiseptics present in strep cells lozenges to help soothe your sore throat. Question 4. A 3-year-old child who has a sore throat can be given strep cells. False. It is not recommended for children below 6 years old to take strip cell lozenges as there is a risk of choking. Last question. And an adult who has a sore throat with white patches on his tonsils and has developed a rash should seek medical attention from a healthcare professional. True. White patches and rash are symptoms of bacterial infections. Other than that, symptoms such as fever above 38 degrees Celsius, nausea and vomiting, sore throat that does not improve after a week or more, having recurrent bouts of infection, and difficulty in swallowing or breathing require medical help from your healthcare professional. And that is all on my video regarding sore throat as well as its management. I do hope you guys found this video helpful and remember to always ask your healthcare professional whenever you are in doubt. Thanks for watching and have a great day.